Hey guys, it's Gimme a Flake Man. It's Victor. Good to see you again. It's cold, that's why I'm uh, dressed like this. Um, okay, let's get to the good part first. First of all, I found a site. I, there's a site that I've known of, but I've never really spent a lot of time there until a couple of days ago. And it's called japansock.com. And if you like Japan, if you're interested in Japan stuff, you're going to like this place. It's a really nice place. And if you've got a, if you've got a Gmail account, it's for you because you can log in with your Gmail um, identity, whatever that's called. So it's cool. It's great. And today I was, I was on it today and I was reading a story about how some Korean woman had come back to Japan uh, and gotten past, you know, when you come to Japan and when, when you go to Japan, and America, I think it's the only two, only two countries in the world. If you go to Japan and America, uh, when you go through customs, you've got, you get your, you get fingerprinted and they run your fingerprints against, I don't know, Interpol and shit stuff excuse me <laughs> and um, so a Korean woman was deported apparently like two years ago or so and she went to China and for a hundred and fifty dollars sixty dollars she had the skin on her fingers regrapped in such a way that when she came back to Japan and she put her finger on the little machine there you know when they when they when they send you through customs you got, you got to put your finger on a on a fingerprint reader, whatever that's called. She got passed. And then the police somehow, I don't know how they did this, but you got to be pretty bad at crime to get caught for this. She got caught for being illegally married to a Japanese person. So apparently she paid some Japanese guy to marry her. And um, she got caught. So they, were, they deported her again. But this time they noticed that there had been some damage to her fingerprints. You know, if you look at your fingerprint, you can tell if someone's cut. You see my finger? It's a virgin finger, right? No, you can tell there's been no surgery on my finger, right? I mean, who knows where it's been, but at least, you know, no surgery. So, uh, so anyway, this interesting article I found on japansock.com. And it's a really, you know, I, I'm jealous because it's a great site and I wish I had thought of it. It's a great community site. So if you're interested in Japan, Japanese community, anything having to do with Japan stuff, go over there. You can click. You, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Oh, and I like it so much that I've actually altered uh, magasensei.com to be japansock.com friendly. So if you do make an account and you go over to magasensei.com, you can actually like sock up. It's like a dig account, you know, it's like a dig system, a dig system type of thing. You can actually push articles up to the top. So if you like one, if you like uh, magazinesy.com, then be sure to sock it and bring it to the top. But but it's a good site. I mean, don't just go there to to whore out Maggie. You know, uh, go out there because go out there and check it out because it's good. You're gonna find a lot of really really cool blogs, blogs, articles. Um, you'll you'll see a lot of people. And I I gotta say that I haven't spent a lot of time on it, but what what I've seen so far, I like very much. So go check it out, and they also got a Twitter and all that crap. So here's my big major, give me a flake man, stamp of approval on japantalk.com. Koichi, Koichi, um, Tofugu, they told me about it, um, uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Gakuranman told me about it a long time ago, and I kind of just, um, you know, you know you hear something, and you, I'll get around to it later. I finally got around to checking it out, really good site. Go check it out, you're going to enjoy it. Say thank you in the comments because you're going to be happy. All right. And I got I to gotta go wash this finger, man. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.